Okay, let's take a few moments and look at a very brief description of what a hip replacement looks like mechanically. But before we get to the hip replacement, we're going to talk about the organic or the native anatomy. So when we're talking about a hip, we're specifically speaking about the articulation or the joint between the femoral head and the pelvic socket. So we have the femur with the ball and we have the pelvis with the socket. And the hip joint is where these two joints meet. Now, around the hip, there's bone, muscles, tendons, ligaments, nerves, vessels. But what we're primarily concerned about in arthritic change is a loss of cartilage. This blue material in this model represents cartilage. And cartilage is the protein, it's the collagen, the soft tissue that transfers load between the bones during movement. And healthy functioning cartilage will appear as this very clear blue structure at the surface of the bone, on the top of the femoral head and then the surface of the femoral or the pelvic cup. Now what happens in arthritis is that there is a breakdown of that material. The bone itself is often intact. The nerves, muscles, and vessels will also be intact, but the cartilage or the collagen at the surface of the bone will break down. And as a result, the bones will not be able to transfer load comfortably or efficiently between each other. So in this situation, when the joint stops working, and as a result, there's limitation of function, there's pain, there's exhaustion, we then proceed to a hip replacement. And when we replace the hip, we just need to replace the ball and the inner surface. We don't need to replace all the bone around the pelvis or all the bone around the femur. We just need to replace this ball, and we do that by removing the neck, and you can see that where the line is. So what we'll do is we'll replace that arthritic ball with a new ball and a new cushion so there can be an efficient transfer of load between the pelvis and the femur. Now on the acetabular, the pelvic side, we're going to put in a cup and that cup contains the polyethylene liner. That polyethylene liner will be the substitution for this blue material over here. This polyethylene will absorb and transfer the load between the bones. And on the femoral side, we remove the ball and the neck so that we can put a stem down the canal. And then this stem is just there to hold that ball in the appropriate position. And then that is a hip replacement. Okay.